the Bihar caste census which was released by the Nitish Kumar government can set the proverbial cat among the pigeons ahead of the 2024 elections. It could be a huge factor and bring back the reservation debate to the forefront of Indian politics. Let me begin by telling you what exactly has happened. The Bihar government decided to conduct a caste census where the proportion of the population which makes up for other backward castes, that would include backward castes, extremely backward castes, would also be counted. Now, for context, this hasn't happened in India since 1931. All the census which we have been conducting count the number of SC and ST people within the population, but not really the exact proportion of backward caste and other backward castes. Why this is important is because the reservation proportions which have been decided in India <clears throat> by law are based on the assumption that these castes make up for about 50% of the population. And that is why there are reservations for these many people in government jobs or educational institutions. So that's the backdrop. Let me tell you what this caste census has thrown up and that becomes important as well. As per the Bihar caste census for the population of the state, backward classes make up about 27.13% of the population. Extremely backward classes are 36.01%. So together, the category which is commonly referred, it, referred to as OBCs, that's other backward castes, would make up 63% of the population. Between scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, you have about 21% of the population and the general category is about 15.52% of the population. Now, even though this census is just for the state of Bihar, it is being extrapolated and widely assumed that this would be the population proportion for the rest of India as well and has increased demands for a national caste survey to come up. Remember, our census for the year 2021 did not take place because of pandemic. It's not yet taken place. And there have been long-standing demands that when you do enumerate the latest population of India, we should know how many people among India belong to these castes. And then social welfare schemes can be directed in that sense. There is no doubt this is going to become a huge political issue ahead of the next general elections in 2024.